The decline in civility on the internet is pretty known to, to all of us. I mean, you guys, I'm sure, are getting trolled as we, as we speak right now. Um, we've used the best machine learning that we have to make it easier for publishers and platforms to detect toxicity on their sites, and the, pro the product's called, uh, it's called Perspective. So how does it work? Um, so the way it works is any publisher or platform can feed the comments to the technology and receive a score zero to 100 of how toxic those comments are. But uh, what represents toxicity, meaning is it, is it foul language so or is case, it, yeah. you know, even more than that? So in this case, toxicity is defined, but uh, it's defined by what would cause somebody to leave the conversation. So the score that is returned means this comment resembles things that other people so have said Joe are So Joe leaves the conversation off and he just blocks people on I'll Twitter. And, 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 and the AI must be pretty good because I might get something on Twitter that says, wow, you are really a superb journalist. So fair, so balanced. I love the way you present both sides. Now, they aren't serious. That's really <laughs> mean, and they're being sarcastic. Now, how will, your, how will you know that that's toxic? Because that was toxic, and I don't appreciate it. Well, all, all the technology does is return a score. So the publisher and platform determines what they want to do with that score. Oh, so, I blocked them. So I can't you, you, block what what you want to block them, you just, can. We talk about Twitter, Facebook, are there, are there certain platforms that you think have um, more toxicity on them currently than others? And how do you sort of think about that? Um, I mean, I think you, you see it everywhere, right? I mean, you know, the, yeah, I yeah. think tro trolls seem to sort of not discriminate between one platform it's or another. It's anonymity, isn't it? But is just, it, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Twitter has more anonymous people on it than, for, for example, Facebook, it's impossible to be really anonymous, isn't Why? it? Why? Sure it is. You can be anonymous? I have a fake account on Facebook. You do? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Keep going. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, you know, pe people like to say it's anonymity. I, I think it, it's more complex than that. I mean, you have 72% of American internet users who say they've witnessed some kind of cyberbullying. Um, more often than not, that, that bullying takes the form of a real person. I've never met anyone in public, and a lot of people come up to us. I've never met anyone like the, tw the, the trolls on Twitter. Everybody loves us. They love me, they love you, they all love us when we meet them out in public. Now, where are the people that are... But, but here's, here's what's interesting about perspective, right? So what perspective does, you could imagine a situation or you could imagine a use for it where you, the viewer, um, can use that score uh, to determine what level of toxicity you want to see on a particular day. So let's say Andrew, you know, came to work today. He and he's block. just feeling he a little sensitive yeah, but, today. Yeah, let's say he's, so, feeling, he's feeling sensitive, but uh -huh. let's say you're sort of feeling, you know, robust and, and comfortable and during it all. You guys can literally see, you know, different levels of toxicity in the comments. Isn't but it, it, there a balance, though? I mean, I don't know. I like to see everything, what? even if it's bad, because you have to take the very best along with the very worst. No. So for me, I like to see everything. Uh, are we sort of creating a culture where people are developing Snowflakes. very thin skins? Well, you know, it's, 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 you know there, there's no rule that says it needs to be one way in perpetuity. You know, I think what's nice about this is um, you can make a determination about what you want to see rather dynamically. And is it, it in the short term, it's the publishers that will make the decision. It's not so individually. I can't use this technology myself, or can I? Well, it, again, it's up to publishers and platforms. So, so any publisher can decide. You know, we want to maybe use the score as moderation, a way to moderate, or maybe you know, you'll decide that you want to put all the power in the hands of the users. So, again, all perspective does is put the hand, put the power in the hands of these platforms. And this doesn't touch on fake news yet. Fake news is a whole different problem. A whole different problem. Whole different problem. problem. And you're not, you're, not score, problem. you're not scoring the accuracy of what people are saying one way or the other. And by, I, would, I, would posit, I would posit that you have more people impacted by trolling and online harassment. You know, 47% of American internet users say that they have personally been cyberbullied or harassed if online. If this is being used by a publisher, let's say there's a comment section, mm -hmm. right, for an article maybe right. that you wrote, Andrew, yep. does that mean that the New York Times or, or whoever publishes that article can decide, oh, we're only going to allow, I don't know, a nice score, nice comments to be posted? And doesn't that sort of change the dynamic because you're just... You're, you're editing the responses. Well, it's, it, if you think of it, the, the aspiration's already there. So those long terms of service that people may or may not read, um, publishers already have set or articulated some sort of threshold for what they constitute you know, productive conversations. What we're providing is a tool for them to implement that. I've almost got a perfect following now. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm almost just, weeded how many people, everybody, how many everybody people? out. Now people are all uh, being sarcastic and sending things that, no, really, you're, you're great. Right. You're, we love you. We <laughs> want right, some perspective to be able to catch that. No, but, maybe, block. but to your point about people <laughs> becoming too thin-skinned, maybe right. you're sort of experiencing a you know, desire right. to see something no, a little bit not. edgier, in which case you could turn new, the dial new up. People, new people. Okay, come. new people. Are there, yeah. uh, has Twitter signed on to this? Who's, who's signed on so far? So we, we've started just with publishers, in part because the initial data came from research partners from the 
uh, from the publishing community, but our view is we will talk to anybody, anytime, any place interested in working on this problem. Okay, the service is called Perspective. Jared Cohn, thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.